All right, guys. Um, no message today. Just a. I don't know if this is an announcement or what it is, but um, next few days I'm going to continue to work. I have to work like probably like 16 hours, like I did tonight. Just um, otherwise, I'm going to start garnishing my wages. So um, before that happens, we got to take care of that. So um, most likely the message will be on Thursday, hopefully. And um, we'll continue on with church history. And we'll go from there. It's funny, I got this up here. This will be with us on our next message, too. This is a... My favorite car is a 1972 Cuda 340. My uncle has one. It's in the garage, unfortunately. But this is a, a 70 Cuda. I know because it's got the square... Uh, it's got square tail lights and the single round headlights. If it was a 71, it would have two headlights on each side and a square tail light. But my favorite is a 72, 73, 74, actually a 72 Cuda 340. Yeah, I think the wolf likes it too. But yes, we'll, we'll continue on with um, church history um, and proceed from there. So I just want to let you all know that I don't want you guys to think that um, we weren't going to do this. It's just... Um, I'm in a situation right now where I have to take care of it. And so um, it'll pass. Um, we'll continue on. But I was thinking about it. You know, me and God have been going at this for years. And I used to hear people used to tell me, they say, you know, hey, it's it's such a privilege to, to be called by God. To me, it's not a privilege. And it was never... Um, anything I really wanted, actually. And I'm not going to stand, sit up here. I'm sitting, not standing. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that I'm doing this because I love God and Jesus. Although, although I do love God and Jesus. But um, that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I believe that He is. In fact, I know that He is. I know for a fact that He called me. So that's why I'm doing it. I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. But you're probably not going to see me grinning very much up here like some fool. But um, I just wanted you all to know that we are going to continue to do this. It's not I'm not pulling away or anything. And on that note, it was great to see everybody at the Ecclesia, all the brothers and sisters that I haven't seen for years. And, um, and Sister Kat, I went to see her afterwards and pray with her. And Earl got to meet her. It's good to see you. But man, I got home and I was dead tired. And I've been dead tired probably for the last three days. But it, it reminded me of the stuff that I used to do for God before. And the times I would go without sleep and be praying for people all hours of the night. And I know Brother Whitney does that. Has done that and continues to do it. You know, ministry is synonymous with slave. Servant. There's nothing glorious about it. I don't have any visions of grandeur. All right. I mean, Pastor Eddie years ago said something about how people use Christianity as a vehicle for success. I ain't using Christianity as a vehicle for nothing. I'm doing this because Jesus Christ is Lord. That's the only reason. And only He can put his hand on my back and mold me and shape me and make me do this. I mean, he doesn't make us do anything, but when you know you have a call in your life, do you really have a choice? I mean, what's what's the alternative? What are you going to do? All right. So I'm doing this because I believe that he is. And I'll continue to do that. So we'll leave, we left off, we, we're, we're done with talking about Matthias and talking about James, because that's starting to give me a headache now. So we're going to go further into church history, and we'll pick that up on Thursday. That's all I got for you tonight. Like I said, I've been out working 16 hours tonight. Right now, I'm going to go soak my darn back, because it feels like someone's stabbing me with a knife. And then um, we'll, we'll continue on. 
back has nothing to do with my mouth, so I figured I could at least let you guys know that we're still here. We're not going anywhere. As long as I'm breathing, as long as God keeps me alive, I'll continue to preach the word. Have a good night. God bless you all.